Brooke had been part of the ambulance for quite some period of time. She wanted me to join and I kept putting it off, putting it off because I didn't think it was for me. Then she told me I could just drive the ambulance. <laughs> because it can be challenging. Like you think that someone's life is in your hands. Initially I thought I could never do that. What happens if I see something gruesome? Will I ever recover from it? But it's nothing like that. I enjoy it. It's a challenge, yeah. Volunteers have a certain passion in them. They not only do it to serve the community, to help people, but they also get skills for life. Build confidence um, in situations that they can be confronted with in everyday life. We got books, we sat down, we went through everything together and it was step by step. You're There's very well supported, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Lots of scenario training, lots of practice, but honestly, once you're there, you just got to get in and do something and that's the way it is. For me, I had no idea, like I worked in a pub, so it was completely different. It was long and we did weekend trainings. For me, I'm lucky my boss works around a few of my shifts. Being on the truck to me is my normality. My husband and my family are very supportive. I don't know, you just make it work, you really do, because it's a passion. You have drive to do it, you just fit it in. I think all you need to do is put your greens on and walk down the street and you'll see what the community thinks and feels like. Everyone thanks you. But we appreciate them too. We love serving the community, giving back to them. I've treated them and I've made a difference in their life and they know that. Yeah, even if it's yeah. for that little bit of reassurance that they need from us. Put a smile on their face and then, you know, the next time it might be critical that they do call. Small communities, obviously, if we don't have volunteers, we won't have a truck.